Nice to meet you again. Today I will reveal to you a secret about the circulating electricity that I have created. First you need to prepare two small motors and four permanent magnet bars. Next is a non-conductive metal flywheel. Then I use special glue to attach the magnet to the flywheel. The type of magnet I use is circular and has two opposite poles on both sides. Note, I will attach four bar magnets around the flywheel so that the poles alternate. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Attach the magnet to the flywheel carefully so that the magnet does not fall out during operation. Next I used a 27mm diameter plastic tube. I used a saw to cut the plastic pipe into two short pieces about 40 millimeters. Use scissors to clean both ends of the plastic tube. I will use these two plastic pipes as bases for the two motors. Continue using specialized glue to attach the plastic pipe and motor. After attaching the plastic tube to the motor, we should wait a while for the glue to dry and then it will be most durable. We do the same with the remaining motor. and we have made two motors with similar legs. Next step, I will attach the shaft of one motor to the flywheel. I will use a piece of wood to make a base for the generator. Next, I used special glue to attach the motor legs to the wooden base. Then attach the remaining motor to the flywheel and wooden base. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. Try spinning the flywheel to check if the two motors are concentric. I use two wires to connect two motors together. Use pliers to cut and bend the wire to your liking. Measure and bend carefully to get the best look.
Do the same with the remaining wire. Cut the end of the wire to expose the copper wire. Smear some tin on the motor and wire ends. Use soldering iron to connect wire to motor. We will connect two motors in parallel. Next, I used a connector to solder to the motor output. I will use a large round magnet to activate the motor. I will put this magnet under the flywheel, taking advantage of the magnet's attraction and repulsion principle. I use my hand to activate the flywheel to rotate, and the flywheel with the magnet attached has been rotating continuously. I will put this magnet under the flywheel, taking advantage of the magnet's attraction and repulsion principle. I use my hand to activate the flywheel to rotate, and the flywheel with the magnet attached has been rotating continuously. I use a circuit to increase current from 12 volts to 220 volts. First I used a fan to test the current. Then I use another light bulb. Surprisingly, it all worked so well. I tried taking the magnet out and immediately everything stopped. Then I put the magnet back in place and activated the flywheel and everything worked again. You and I, let's admire the work I just created. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like 
and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.